What is up and is going on guys, Sipsy here and today for you I have another episode of my Let's Play Game of Thrones Total War House Stark Campaign Westeros Submod 0.5 So now we're actually besieging uh, Feldwood because the Storm Lords uh, declared their kingship and we automatically went to war with them because we're kings of the realm as, as well and to be honest I was going to attack them anyway it kind of gave me a better excuse because they rose up against us, if that makes sense. So we're currently besieging this settlement. We're going to take that uh, settlement soon. Um, I've made the decision. Uh, this settlement down here, Blackhaven, it's starting to rebel. And I don't have a big enough force to hold it. So I'm actually going to send this back to Tumbleton. And uh, I thought this was a pretty good idea. We're going to talk to the Martells. We're going to get an alliance. And we're going to give them Blackhaven. So uh, now we have the power of the Martells and the power of the Riverlands to help us. So that's good, we're aligned with the, even though we took out like two of their generals, we are now allied and that gives them a kind of a foothold into Renly and Tyrell land, seeing as the Tyrells betrayed us by attacking the Tully, so that's going to be awesome. Of course we have Rick and Sons, Roger and Winderford, I think that's how you say his name, they're coming down. And uh, they're going to, because they're pretty formidable generals already. Look at that four-star general. I I, I kind of hoped that they weren't very good generals and they could kind of like govern the north. But uh, they're going to attack Storms Land. Um, how many turns is that actually? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine turns. By the time nine turns, we'll probably want to. We probably would have taken hopefully the Bronze Gate. Depending on how this battle goes, uh, Maidenpool's actually rounding. Where? Hmm. Tyrells have some troops coming through our lands. Hmm. It's going to be very interesting how this war develops. Once we take out the Storm Lords, maybe the Tyrells might. I don't know. I haven't decided. After we take out the uh, the Storm Lords, House Renly Baratheon, I haven't decided whether I'm going to continue the campaign. Uh, we'll just have to see. Um, okay, so let's do this battle now. Um, where are we? Where's Rob? A 3 to 1 ratio. We haven't had a battle in a while. But... Hmm... Because, looking at this, I'm guaranteed to win. Look at that. A 3 to 1 ratio, there's only... 12, we're at about 1,200 troops to, wow, Christ, we're at about 34, 3,400, so, I would play this, but the odds, like, hmm, and I didn't really feel like playing, I'm sure we'll, there's a lot more settlements, like, bloody hell, we've got Griffin's Roost, we've got three more here, so there sure as hell will be more battles, so, uh, I'm sorry about that, but, Hey, I only really want to play battles that um kind of hard. So um we have an assassin. We're gonna send him to High Garden. I've just been sending him knocking out some generals. Um, I haven't knocked out any Highborns. I don't think. Um, we'll get John on board to besiege this settlement. Um. I guess we'll make a better we'll put a make a better force in Rob's army. He lacks archers and that, so I'll probably take two of them out. And give Yeah, that would be perfect. And then get Rob to besiege as well. Then we'll rally up with Actually we'll get this settlement, Rob and his two sons to mm, hang on, we'll get Rick in. Who's a better commander, Rickon or Artos? Artos is a better commander. He's got more dread. Um, not necessarily that means he's a better commander, but he's got better stats. So we'll leave Rickon and we'll let Artos. Well, then they'll besiege that. So we'll be taking that episode. Uh, episode. We'll be taking that bron the Bronze Gate in probably this episode. What's this here? A couple of troops. Hmm. 
It's going to be interesting to see how this all develops because there's a full, there's a pretty big stack there as well. Captain Edric. How far? Uh, nine, uh, six turns I counted. I can't really remember. But that's going to be a pretty formidable force to be reckoned with. Let's see how the whole thing um, de come determines. Are the Tyrells having a chat to us? I mean, no, they're trying to bribe the diplomat. Uh, Jonah Magna. And to turn report, family member, Harlord Stark, relationship with the Tullys. Um, we're absolutely just blocking the ports <laughs> of uh, the Baratheons. So we've got three there, we're blocking that point. We're about to block Storm's End with this massive fleet. And maybe, I can't remember if they've taken that settlement or not. Ah, they brought up two rather big armies here, which is interesting. We're getting our money back. Um, just need to quickly rally out the troops because some of them we can't. We're in debt, so we're not paying half of their wages. When's the next heir coming along? Beth Bolton. It's funny how he died peacefully. The brutal commander he was. Uh, 11, 8, 6, 3. John Umber's still alive, that's good. He can still have one more son because the max sons you can have, and the max children you can have in this game is, is four. So he can have one more. Oh, bloody Theo is unlucky. He had three daughters. He's the next king of the north. Should go Rob Artos White. Rob's, uh, Brandon's son had two daughters, two sons. Same with his brother. He, bloody Brandon's sons. Holy shit. It's a lot of nephews. Rickon's son had a daughter, and uh, his two other sons haven't come of age, which is interesting. But Rob, if Rob doesn't die in the battlefield, he'll probably live for another 30 so years, so... Ah, the King of the North. He's such a tyrant now. <laughs> okay, uh, let's continue the siege. I do believe that army will attack us now. Doubt. King of the North. Okay. Royal for Assassin. No thanks. We're already dead enough. We've already got an Assassin heading to High Garden. There's no targets in High Garden, really. You would have thought at least, like. Actually, maybe they're at Castle Rock now that I think about it. It's going to be very interesting. Now, I'll send, yeah, I'll send them up to Castle Rock. But I'll send them up that way so I can get more territories in. It'll be, it's going to be interesting to see if the Tyrells actually... What are our relationships with the Tyrells? So-and-so. Um, yeah, like I said. Oh. Oh, anyway. Like I said, it's going to be very interesting what the Tyrells do because we're smashing their ally. I don't think they're even giving the Tullys that much of a threat, to be honest. Um, we'll give them... Oh, shit, no one talked to them. Okay. Where's Rob? Well, well, I don't know why there's a glitch here. It just glitches the back of the map, which is kind of weird. I think I might play this battle, though. I'll let it besiege for one turn, because what's that? 2,000 men versus 3,000. So if I've only got 1,000 more... I reckon I'll play that battle. That battle will be good. Seeing the last one, which I was guaranteed to win. How's Tolly? Wants to have a chat to us. Albert Overton, King of the North. New family member, Mark Stark. <laughs> what a stupid name. Map information for map information. Just rejected, really. Whoa, they have brought up a massive army now. Holy shit. 3,000 recruit. Now that, I'm actually going to play this battle in uh, the next episode. I just want to quickly do some micromanaging and move the troops down. Is they? How long are they going to be now? Look at that massive fleet. The storm mods are being blocked by trade, which is good. 
Every port is blocked. How many turns until... One, two, three, four, five turns until they land. So that's another stack. I think that's pretty much done here. I'm going to do a quick save. And I'm going to start the episode off with this battle. We're going to... Oh, uh, yeah. Rob's army will besiege. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, 3,000 Baratheons versus 3,000 Starks. So let's do this. Without further ado, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. This has been Simpsy. I'm Matt Lays, my friends. Bye-bye. Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I reply to absolutely everything. On there you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.